Chapter 1, Document 1, Governor John Winthrop Envisions a City Upon a Hill, 1630. Now the only way to avoid this shipwreck and to provide for our posterity is to follow the counsel of Micah. To do justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly with our God, we must be knit together in this work as one man. We must entertain each other in brotherly affection. We must be willing to abridge ourselves of our superfluities. For the supply of others' necessities, we must delight in each other, mourn together, labor, and suffer together, always having before our eyes our commission and community in the work. So shall we keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. The Lord will be our God and delight to dwell among us, so that we shall see much more of his wisdom, power, goodness, and truth than formerly we have been acquainted with. We shall find that the God of Israel is among us. When ten of us shall be able to resist a thousand of our enemies, when he shall make us a praise and glory that men shall say of succeeding plantations, the Lord make it like that of New England. For we must consider that we shall be as a city upon a hill. The eyes of all people are upon us. So that if we shall deal falsely with our God in this work we have undertaken, and so cause him to withdraw his present help from us, we shall be made a story and a byword through the world. We shall open the mouths of enemies to speak evil of the ways of God and all professors for God's sake. We shall shame the faces of many of God's worthy servants and cause their prayers to be turned into curses upon us till we be consumed out of the good land where we are going. And to shut up this discourse with that exhortation of Moses, that faithful servant of the Lord, in his last farewell to Israel, Deuteronomy 30. Beloved, there is now set before us life and good, death and evil, in that we are commanded this day to love the Lord our God and to love one another, and to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his ordinance and his laws, and the articles of our covenant with him that we may live and be multiplied, and that the Lord our God may bless us in the land where we go to possess it. But if our hearts shall turn away so that we will not obey, but shall be seduced and worship other gods, our pleasures, our prophets, and serve them. It is propounded unto us this day, we shall surely perish out of that good land, whither we pass over this vast sea to possess it. Therefore let us choose life, that we and our seed may live, by obeying his voice and cleaving to him, for he is our life and our prosperity.